Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Biden aggressively prepares for debate while Trump cautious against excessive preparation. Sometimes you can go too much in that stuff, Trump said. President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden are preparing for Tuesday's debate in starkly different ways with the later engaging in mock standoff while the former says he's leveraging as practice the continuous environment he already faces as president. The debate will be on tonight at 9 p.m. on all the major networks. According to multiple reports, President Trump has refrained from traditional debate prep and practice sessions. Trump indicated on Sunday that former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and his attorney Rudy Giuliani helped him prepare, but it's unclear what exactly that entailed. After betting former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who prepared extensively in 2016, Trump is suggesting he doesn't want to overdo it. Sometimes you can go too much in that stuff, Trump said during a press briefing on Sunday. Meanwhile, Biden has been holding mock debate sessions with senior advisor Bob Buer and participated in huddles with top aides, according to CBS. Tuesday's debate, hosted by Fox News anchor Chris Wallace, will be just one of many that Biden will have participated in as a politician. With decades as a senator, presidential candidate and vice presidential nominee Biden has plenty of hands-on experience with high-stakes debate. Trump has reportedly considered bringing up Hunter Biden, the Democrat nominee's son, as well as former Senate staffer Tara Reid's allegation that Biden sexually assaulted her in the 90s. Biden's team, on the other hand, believes Tuesday's debate topics, which include coronavirus pandemic, racial unrest, and election integrity, will give Biden an opportunity to highlight Trump's failures. I'm prepared to go out and make my case as to why I think he's failed and why I think the answers I have to proceed will help the American people, the American economy, and make us safer internationally, Biden said, arguing that Trump won't convince voters with broad sides because the people know the president is a liar. But as both sides acknowledge, Trump is far from the typical debate opponent. His zingers from 2016 have 
became ironic while he's granted and reputation for his ability to fire off quick comeback on the fly. The president prepares to be prepares by being president Trump campaign communication director reportedly said and by regularly facing hostile news media that's pretty good practice by any measure. Trump himself spotted the questioning he faced in a recent ABC town hall which many saw as competitively harsh in light of questioning Biden faced during a similar event on CNN. You know what I call it. Debate prep? I call it free debate prep, Trump told supporters in Minnesota. Besides facing down the press, Trump and his team have been studying footage of Biden's previous debate for ways to attack the former vice president. Trump advisors, according to CBS, have also been feeding him flashcards and videos between stops on Air Force One. Both sides are already indicating they'll have to deal with the other's lies, although Biden's advisors have singled the former vice president won't spend too much time fact checking Trump according to the New York Times. Arguing over fact listing whether what he says is accurate, that is not winning to Biden, said Gene, a former Biden, former Obama aide, who is close to Biden's team. This is an opportunity to speak directly to the American people. Trump's team, meanwhile, has taken a two-pronged approach, both raising and lowering expectations based on Biden's previous performances. Joe Biden spent a lot of his time in his basement to study up. He's been in this game for 47 years. I assure he'll do okay. Lara Trump, the president's daughter-in-law and campaign advisor, said. Quite frankly, the bar has been lowered so much for Joe Biden that if he stays awake for the whole thing, it's like maybe he won. And that does it for this news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this news report. I hope you all have a great day, everyone. And a reminder, the debate is on at 9 p.m. this evening on all the major networks. And we will have free debate coverage starting at 8 p.m. right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this news report. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you back here later on today with another news report. Goodbye.